siblings in Christ, grace and peace to you. We are gathered outside this evening as unfortunately I was unable to get the internet at the church to work. So uh, later I will make sure to upload this video to YouTube. But for those who are watching on our Facebook page, welcome to our Lent midweek worship. And again, my apologies for being unable to be live on YouTube as well right now. And hopefully this internet connection outside is strong enough for us <laughs> for our worship together. Uh, this also means I won't be able to play some of the recorded music that we had planned for this evening. Uh, so I'll make some adjustments and hopefully next week I can be in the sanctuary and be able to provide all the pieces that we uh, hope to be able to offer for our Lent midweek. So I hope you enjoy this simplified version of our prayer and meditation. And so with that, I welcome you to our Lent midweek worship, and I invite you into a moment of prayer. God, we give you thanks for the breath in our lungs, for the life that you have given us, for the hope that we have in you, for the redemption we have in your Son. Thank you for loving us and breathing life into us. Help us to love others as you have loved us. Amen. We begin our worship with a confession. And the song response from this confession is one that I hope you can pick up as we go along. It's the same one we used last week. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who forgives all of our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For self-centered living and for failing to walk with humility and gentleness, for longing to have what is not ours, and for hearts that are not at rest within ourselves, we sing. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For misuse of human relationships, and for unwillingness to see the image of God in others, for jealousies that divide families and nations, and for rivalries that create strife and warfare, we sing. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For reluctance in sharing the gifts of God, and for carelessness with the fruits of creation, for hurtful words that condemn, and angry deeds that harm, let us sing. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. 
for idleness and witnessing to Jesus Christ, and for squandering the gifts of love and grace. We sing. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Beloved, God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. And we continue with a blessing from the opening of Holden Evening Prayer. May God be with you all. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence of light of our pathways. And you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Our lesson tonight comes from the Psalms, and it is Psalm 121. Take a moment of silence as we prepare to hear the word of God. The psalmist writes, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved, nor will the one who watches over you fall asleep. Behold, the keeper of Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will preserve you from all evil and will keep your life. The Lord will watch over you. You're going out and you're coming in from this time forth forevermore. Let us pray. God, we come to you this night after a long day. For some of us, it was a long day because the minutes seemed to tick by so slowly. We may have felt alone or without anything to do, without purpose. Felt as though we were lost and wandering. For some of us, <laughs> the day was long because it was filled with too much pieces we had to do pieces we wished we could have done with news that was difficult with news that brought us joy pieces that distracted us but in this moment we still our hearts and our minds 
we still our spirits and turn to you. We seek your renewal. You seek your new life. We seek that reminder that you have breathed life into us and that our life is precious and holy in your eyes. We come this night to be reminded of your Son, of what our Lord has done for us and for our world, that we have been set free, free from fear or worry of whether or not we measure up to your expectations and standards free from fear of whether or not we will do enough good in this life to earn life everlasting. You freed us from that when you gave us life as a gift, forgiveness as a gift, and the promise of life everlasting as a gift, freely given to us. And so this night we come to sit at the feet of your Son, to learn and hear again the gospel truth. That Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. That Jesus is the one who comes to call us to follow to follow and be forever changed. To come when we are broken and trust that we are welcome. To come when we have made mistakes and know we are welcome. To come when everyone else around us says we don't belong and we are not worthy and to know that we are welcome. You call us each by name. Every person who has ever been and ever will be in this world, you know completely and you love deeply. We come this night in awe of who you are and what you have done and what you invite us into. And so we hear again your word from Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the hills from where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved, nor will the one who watches over you fall asleep. Behold, the keeper of Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will preserve you from all evil and will keep your life. The Lord will watch over you. You're going out and you're coming in from this time forth forevermore. Amen. Siblings in Christ, it is good to be together. And I pray, although we are not able to be together in person, that you are finding ways to connect with one another. Although we can't have our regular soup suppers, I hope you're finding creative ways to share in soup suppers together. If you have the ability, perhaps you'll reach out to someone in the congregation or to a friend or a family member and invite them to a Zoom soup supper. 
or perhaps you have a great recipe that you would like to share of soup with one another and you share that through the mail and a card, a note of encouragement, reminding each other that we are here for each other, that God is here with us. I hope that this Lent is a time of renewal for you and a time of hope for you. I invite us again into a space of silence as we reflect on this year, as we reflect on our Lord and the life we have in him. Let us take a moment of silent reflection. For those who may have a red hymnal at home, I invite you, if you wish, to turn to hymn 334. It's Tree of Life and Awesome Mystery. And if you don't happen to have a hymnal, I invite you just to listen to the words and if you perhaps know it, to sing along even if you don't have the music in front of you. Again, that's hymn 300 and 34 in your red hymnals, Tree of Life and Awesome Mystery. Tree of life and awesome mystery, in your death we are reborn. Though you die in all of history, Still you rise with every morn, still you rise with every morn. We remember truth once spoken, love poured out through act and word. Every person lost and broken, where's the body of our Lord? Where's the body of our Lord? Christ, you lead and we shall follow, stumbling though our steps may be. One with you in joy and sorrow, we the river, you the sea. We the river, you the sea. In our call to be a blessing, may we be a blessing true. May we live and die confessing, Christ as Lord of all we do. Christ as Lord of all we do. Receive now this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, I thank you for your patience as we worship outside this night and needed to make some changes due to our internet connection, but hopefully you all are having a good and blessed evening, and I wish to invite you, if you are able, to stop by the church from 6.30 to 7.30 so you can participate in the outdoor worship stations that have been prepared for you by our CYF and Parish Ed teams. I thank them for all the work that they have put into that. Have a beautiful evening, and God bless.